Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Over the last couple of months, as I have been posting, Microsoft has been gradually introducing and adding more recommendations and suggestions to the start menu in the Windows 11 Insider program. And um, this could all be set to change because according to a recent leak and a hidden feature that was once again spotted by the Windows enthusiast um, Phantom of Earth over on Twitter, uh, in the recently released Windows 11 Insider Dev Build 25309, which I did post on earlier today, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description, in Build 25309, um, a new hidden feature has been spotted uh, that could soon give you the choice to basically decide whether or not you want to get those recommendations and suggestions or not. Now, just a quick recap. A hidden feature is not an official feature. Uh, it could be code and a feature that Microsoft is working on internally and um, is not officially recognized by Microsoft in any release notes. Now, um, up until recently, um, the recommendations and suggestions rolling out to the start menu in the Windows 11 Insider program were met with mixed reactions and with a lot of controversy and debate, which is expected, um, because the main concern was basically that Microsoft didn't have an option to disable those recommendations and suggestions because Microsoft is even suggesting different websites. Now, if we just head over to a screenshot provided uh, by Phantom of Earth on Twitter, here yeah, we can see the hidden feature which was enabled using Vive Tool. Yeah, on the personalization start page, we get a new option. Show recommendations for tips, shortcuts, new apps, and more. And um, that's a new option, a hidden feature that um, could possibly one day give you the option to um, decide, basically, if you want to receive those tips, shortcuts, apps, and more uh, in the start menu in Windows 11. But as mentioned, is a hidden feature. Um, not officially recognized by Microsoft, but this is a good indication, and I certainly hope that Microsoft does start rolling that out because obviously more recommendations and suggestions are on their way to the stable version. And I certainly hope that Microsoft does roll out that option to disable those recommendations and suggestions in the start menu one day in the stable version. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.